Hi, I'm Jody Davis, the Cuckoo Clock Designer. A question I'm asked once in a while, and it kind of surprised me at first, is are cuckoo clocks 100% made in the Black Forest? And in, people, in fact, people have asked me like, well, they're not all the way made in the Black Forest. And I always knew that they were for some reason, even before I got into them. But I wanted to just set that aside for now because they are completely made in the Black Forest. And that's what's so amazing, I think, about that still to this day. It, they, they started making these clocks in the mid-1700s and they were actually one person, one clockmaker would make all the parts. So you can imagine it was very slow. And then there started to be specialization where somebody made the bellows and somebody made like the movement. The movement is what powers up, oh, what powers the time on the clock and then also powers the cuckoo. And it's got all these wheels in there and everything, and it's pretty complex, at least to me. <laughs> but Regula now is the maker. Other people make them, but they're the go-to people. And they're in the Black Forest. They make other things, but they also make the movement for cuckoo clocks. So everything is made there. There's a bellows maker. For these clocks, there's a man who makes the case and does all the carvings. Then they deliver those to Anton Schneider. And Anton Schneider has actually got clockmakers who put everything together. So what happened is specialization changed the industry. Here you had these farmers who during the long winter months could make some extra money by making clocks. They started with those beautiful painted face clocks. And then when cuckoo clocks became popular, they switched to them. And this was a way that they could make a very tough life, add some income in the winter. It's a fascinating story, the history of the cuckoo clock and how big the industry got. And yes, they are still 100% made in Black Forest, which adds to the whole magic of it. Even the chains are made there.